I am in love with Lego Mario and Lego Luigi. What if they could interact with each other? Lego Mario was haunting dreams for ages before Lego Luigi came out to haunt more dreams. When pressing the Bluetooth button on the back of them, they'll both pair. Hello, Mario. Hi, Luigi. Beautiful. When they're paired together, it can lead to some cute interactions. Even Mario cares. When you start a level in two player, you start with 90 seconds instead of the usual 60, which is a bit of an odd choice, but I can see it. That's definitely a weird choice is how they decide to use these time blocks though. They can use them each to get a lot of time. Like, look at that, 180 seconds. They can also take down bosses together, which is pretty great. So, you know, if you and a friend decide that you want to play together and you want to get some extra coins, you can just jump on the bosses and take turns with them until eventually they're defeated. Then you'll get extra coins for it. Let's say that you reach the end of the level but your friend isn't there yet. Then they got... 8 seconds to hurry up and get to the end of the level. Both LEGO Mario and LEGO Luigi share the same coin count, so... Possibly the biggest missed opportunity between these two are the power-ups, because, you know, when you jump up, you get the coins for jumping, but you don't get coins for landing, or landing like that, like, it's... I paid so much for these, it's so... Like, they're so overpriced, and, like, the king can't give me stupid extra coins. Like, are you serious? You can get so many extra coins from just the two-player to the point where I got 999 coins without even doing anything extra. Now, to be fair, you can still set these blocks to different amounts for each character, but, like... It's not even that big of a difference, really. Yeah. And that's the two-player. It's broken, and I love it.